angioplasty is a method by which we uh, treat the blockages inside the coronary arteries we pass a wire and over that wire we initially pass a small balloon inflate that balloon where the blockage is and then stent so stent is a stainless steel or a metal structure very refined structure which is first uh, precisely placed at the point of lesion at the point of blockage in the coronary arteries and then inflated so once it is inflated it makes the artery patent and removes the blockage inside that artery whenever there are coronary artery blockages which cause heart attack which cause angina there are two methods to treat those uh, blockages one obviously i am talking of significant and critical blockages so one uh, they can be treated by means of angioplasty which is ballooning and stenting and other method is bypass surgery so if the blockages are very extensive diffuse calcified they are at the branching points they are total occlusions where the wire cannot go so those are the blockages best treated by bypass surgery rather than angioplasty bypass surgery practically is performed uh, by opening the chest a sternotomy is done where 3 to 4 inches incision is done and then heart is exposed further there are two methodologies few cardiac surgeons perform the bypass surgery by stopping the heart and putting uh, the patient on a heart lung machine uh, and then do, then perform the bypass surgery there are few uh, other other set of cardiac surgeons they are uh, not putting the patient on heart lung machine and they do the bypass surgery on a beating heart so in at medanta uh, the beating heart surgery is very popular and we are kind of uh, really fortunate that here all the bypass surgeries are done on a beating heart surgery which is less riskier and which has better uh, results better successful results in the long term there are few other subsets where uh, the chest uh, without opening the chest over the sternum bypass surgery can be done by robotics but then there are specific criteria specific patients where uh, the robotic surgery can be performed majorly if only one artery the front artery the led artery is blocked and other arteries are okay those are the cases which are more suited for robotic bypass surgery where small two three holes are done uh, on the left side uh, between the rib margins and then a robot uh, actually harvests the artery from inside and bypasses into the led artery any surgery carries a small 2-3% amount of risk and that risk also depends and becomes escalated if there is a heart dysfunction, if there are other comorbidities like liver function is altered, like there is a kidney dysfunction and there is prior history of cardio uh, cerebrovascular accident that is brain strokes. In these cases, the risks are higher. <music>